all right all right welcome to Vikas web channel and as you saw in thumbnail and title this video is about passing props with a uh, router link or link in general in today's video i will be going through uh, how you can pass uh, a state when you are clicking links for example this is a link and this is also a link and even these are links so when you pass each of these links uh, and you can be passing you can be clicking things from different pages and coming back to the uh, different routes right so how to pass uh, dynamic states based on from where you are clicking that link so that's uh, all this video is about and if that sounds good please smash that like button and if you are new to this channel and if you like this kind of content feel free to subscribe my channel with that being said let's start the video all right so uh, as you can see i'm also using the same project from uh, previous and here is the code so uh, in our previous videos we have already gone through all the uh, route setup with the new uh, react router v6 and also how to do uh, nested routing and not only that how to do protected routes and how to do public routes and so on in this video where we what we will be focusing is how you can pass uh props or a state in the link one way to pass is as you can see each of these uh component that we have rendered inside route they are themselves uh component okay so for example i already uh, showed you in one of my video if i do like this and if i say hello then technically this is a valid thing so you see our typescript our uh, this this code code is not complaining anything so this is and to show you that again if i go to tabs now you will see hello obviously you will not see inner tabs because we are not using anything else but you can see this and if i go back and do undo then you will see our tabs as normal similarly when you know that this is component just like we pass props in component we can pass props and our props can be instead of props you can even call it state it's up to you how you all like to call it let's say i will call it props and in that case since this props is not assignable there so we have to go to tabs and here you can just do props and you can give it any or if you want to follow uh, along with typescript then you can create a state here and then you can pass that state definitely i'm not going to do that in this video but you got the idea so now if i save it here if i go i'm still getting some sort of warning cannot find username obviously that's not what we wanted to do if i do double like this then we have username because so we are passing uh props and then from here you can if i go here and then if i do props dot username and then if we go here we should be seeing something well let's go here and let's console log props so we have props and inside props also we have props so that's why we were not seeing that and for that reason what i can do is i can just say const username is from our props dot props and then here instead of all those i can do this and you can see we have because way so this is one way to pass and this is okay so here we have uh, basically constant value but obviously if you are planning to use this kind of um, constant value then why not to directly code it uh, there in tab but uh, if you are planning to get it from let's say somewhere here you have redux or some sort of context or state management you are passing a user's value a user's name or something in that then that is valid that is one way to do but then there is another way which is the main thing for today's video sorry for taking long but i just wanted to you to understand uh, the context so 
let's say uh, we have users here okay so this is our users and if we go to users we are showing all the users but we have two links here one is to a new user and another is uh, to click its users and then you can see right uh, the detail about that user so we are using link here you can see we are using link here and also here we are using link and i would like to pass uh, it such a way that uh, we can have state there right so for example we have a, a new user okay so here just like you have two obviously you can change this string to object but let's say i would like to pass something and that can be again an object so i will say from and i will say all users okay let's convert this to also object so you can see that i have now a state and i'm saying from all users what i'm saying is we are getting uh, clicking this from all user space obviously you can keep on adding more you can pass like let's say users value that can be another object where it can be users name and so on but i'm just showing you only with one thing so it's all users and then now what we need to do is let's go to our new user page here and here with react router dom there is also something called use location so there are a lot of uh, hooks with react router dom let's use use location and then inside here what i can do is location can be use location go here and let's use our react use effect the reason being is i would like this function to do something when our page renders the first or out renders the first so here let's uh, console log first um location from new user and then let's just do location and we might be getting some warning here because we might want to use some dependencies but let's not worry about that too much here so now let me refresh okay so now let's go to our a new user and as you can see once we go there we see something called path name okay so that is uh, the path name that we are at and then we also have something called state and that state is nothing than what we have been passing from here and instead of a state uh we can well let's let's just have it here so it says you can see all users and as i said for example if i want to pass something else let's say username and we can say username is because why sorry oh. so now if you go and if i refresh this probably i will still get only all users because that's what we clicked at first but now let's go back and let's create and this time you would be seeing all users and also username okay there is a typo because web so now you see it tells us from where we are coming and we can render the values based on that but that is not enough so let's say we want to use this same thing so if we go here i will copy this and then let's go to our tabs demo page inside tab one okay so let's go our inside tab one here and also here let's import react router dom and let's import link so here what i can do is I can do link the same thing add new users and here i can say from tab one and let's see here the username would be youtube okay so when we are here the username will be because web and when we are going from tab one the username will be youtube and then in the single use um, in in the new user here 
what we can do is have location state and that can be so it will be our state so we will have some object from that's empty and then we will have username and that's also empty then once we have this what we can do is we can do set location state and then we will pass location dot state and we will get so here if we can see if we have location dot state in that case because there is a chance that we might not have this so let's also say let state is location dot state as any and then okay so now what we can do is we can use location here and then from an username so here i can say add a user from and that can be our location state dot from and then we can say by and that can be location Okay, so I have a typo here. So let's just use this. And that can be username. So now let's save this. Let's go here. So we are here. Okay, so then we go to users. And now if I click add a new user, you can say add new user from all users page by Vikas way however if i go back here if i go to tabs and if i go from here then you say add a new user new user from tab one by youtube so as you can see that based on from where we are clicking we are saying that and there was a issue that we solved here so if you see uh, we had issue where i had to check this location dot is and i had to do this all any and everything and that is because there can be situation where you will be just refreshing this let's say i just enter this i copied this i go here and i enter in this situation we are not coming from anywhere else okay it's directly being there so in that case our state will be undefined it will be empty so if you go from here you see we have the state is null why because we didn't come from any pages so that's why our TypeScript was complaining that it can be null and it doesn't let us say that. So that's why I check that it exists and then I give this any type. Obviously, additionally, if you want, uh, you can create actual type and give that a type. And then I set the location state and I'm using the data here. And since we are using React use effect and passing location, so every time location changes, this will reflect the change. So that's all about this video as you can see uh, with this approach from where you are calling what props you are passing it's up to you and you can do a lot with this so i hope you are clear about passing props with link if you have any question feel free to write it in the comment i go through each comments and try to answer there and if i feel like uh, the question there itself can be another video then i also try to make a separate video based on your comment if you are enjoying my content and if you think uh, it has been useful for you uh, then please hit the like button that way youtube can recommend it to other people as well and also if you like this kind of content uh, feel free to subscribe my channel so that when i upload new videos you will be the first one getting notification with that being said thank you so much for this video keep coding bye bye